What's up, Tasty Tasters? So your girl's back on the seat. So today we are doing cast iron skillet smoked barbecue chicken pizza. You heard me right. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some green onions, some pizza dough, cherub's rib rub, soulard grill, you know my normal favorites, mozzarella cheese, arugula, you're going to need some, I'm using Sweet Baby Ray, sweet and spicy. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you like, or you can make your own. You're going to need some butter rum chardonnay. You're going to need some red chili flake, garlic powder, peppercorns, pink Himalayan salt. I purchased some Bob's Smokehouse Chicken Breast. You can get smoked chicken from wherever you want to get it from. You're going to need some pancetta. You're going to need a red onion, some honey, and some cornmeal, you guys. Of course, and I said my green onion. So, guys, grab your stuff so we can get to cooking. Okay, guys, we are going to render down our pancetta. Get it nice and crispy. And then once I do that, I'm going to come back, take it off the eye, drain it, and we're going to put it to the side. Okay guys, so in the same pan that we cooked our pancetta and rendered off the fat, we left the fat in the pan to bring flavor. We put in two tablespoons of butter. Into the two tablespoons of butter, we're gonna add in minced onion. And I'm gonna say it's approximately two tablespoons of minced onion to this. And guys, we're about to create our barbecue sauce for our chicken. So, I'm gonna let this minced onion toast up a little bit and then we'll be right back. Now guys, to this we're adding in our barbecue sauce. Remember I'm using Sweet Baby Ray, so we're gonna put in approximately two cups of Sweet Baby Ray's to this. And then we're about to season it. A little garlic powder, a hit of salt, pepper, brown sugar, honey, and we'll be right back. So guys, here is our barbecue sauce, guys. We put in here a half a teaspoon of everything that you saw. Salt, pepper, red pepper flake, cherub's rib rub, soulard grill. We actually added in um, a, a tablespoon of honey. So we need a tablespoon of honey. And guys, we hit it with a splash of Chardonnay, so about a fourth of a cup. And we've let it kind of cook and render down. And this is our barbecue sauce. It's sweet, spicy, smoky. Guys, it's just really good. Okay, guys. So I took all the chicken meat off the bone. And we're just going to slide this over into our barbecue sauce, guys. So I used three um, smoked chicken breasts. You can use dark meat, too. I just used the breasts because that's what they had. And we're gonna mix this together, guys. And then I also took a cup of the, the barbecue sauce and put it to the side, because I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. Okay, guys, I have floured myself a board, liberally, because I'm about to work with my dough. So I'm pulling my dough out of the package. You can't see me, but I am. So I'm trying to roll my dough out of the package so I can work it really well. So guys, here is my dough, piece of dough, and you see it coming off the package real easy. I just basically, this needed to sit, this sat at room temperature for 20 minutes, you guys. So now I'm just going to work my dough, roll my dough out, knead it really well, and then guys, it's going to go in my piece. I have a hot cast iron skillet has been sitting on the stove for about 15 minutes or so. Um, and it's been on low heat, so it's nice and toasty. So guys, we're just gonna work this dough a little bit, and then I'm gonna roll it out 
Guys, this dough is amazing. And it's nice, beautiful dough. It's chewy. So we're going to kind of push this out, you guys. I'm going to kind of work this a little bit. Beautiful piece of dough. We're working it, working it. So guys, I'm going to finish working this dough. And I'm going to tell you what we're going to do next. So guys, I put cornmeal down in a nice toasty pan. And this is nice and hot. Because you want that good crust on the bottom. But you want to be able to pull your dough out of the pan. Because we're not going to put any oil into this. We're just going to drop that piece of crust down in there. So I'm about to put the piece of crust down in there. And then I'll be right back. So guys, the piece of crust is down in the pan. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how we're going to top it. We're just going to basically lay down our pancetta. We're going to lay down our cheese. We're gonna, wait, I actually chopped up some cheddar cheese, you guys. I forgot to tell you that. You want to lay that down. We're going to put a little salt pepper on the crust, and then we'll be right back. So we have our pancetta and our cheddar cheese down. Now we're going to put on our, to make our um, barbecue chicken. Okay, guys, so now we've laid down our red onion and the rest of our pancetta. We're about to top this with mozzarella. Our oven has been preheating at 450 degrees for about 25 minutes. So now this is ready to go in. We're going to leave that oven at 450 and we're going to cook this pizza for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, guys, so I have some nice peppery arugula here in the bowl. And I'm just going to hit it with just a little bit, not much, because I don't want to overdress these. So I'm going to say about two to three teaspoons of our robust Italian. And to this, I'm going to add in my trusty, you know what, my olives, jalapenos, and I'm going to use this as a pizza topper. Okay, guys, so my pizza's out of the oven. So it went in for 10 minutes, and then I had a little snafu. Um, the mozzarella, because it was had, was sitting in the milk, I didn't dry it enough, and it actually kind of uh, was around, kind of overflowed into the, in the oven. So I ended up, it was in the oven for 11 minutes. I ended up having to pull it out, pour off some of that wateriness that was on it, and then put it back in the oven it was in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes for at 450 and then I turned the oven down to 350 and then I put it back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes you guys so total cook time on this was was actually 25 minutes so we're gonna cut into this we're gonna let this cool and then I'll let you see what it looks like Okay, guys, this is the finished product. So we have our chicken pizza, and I'm just going to go in. Look at this cheese pool, guys. This cheese is just, that's why I like this particular type of cheese, because it just tastes good. But I just pulled all of it off my thing. So this might be one of those fork type of dishes, too. So, guys, I got the chicken, cheese, a little crust. I'm making a mess of this, I know, but, hey. It's one of those fork knife pizzas, kind of. Guys, a little cheese here. Mmm. The crust. Yep. This crust is delicious. Guys, I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Mmm. Guys, this is good. The pepperiness of the arugula. That sweet barbecue, tangy barbecue sauce. You taste that tang from the sharp nail. Guys, this is really good. Please make this dish. The pepperiness, the cheese, the crust, the chicken, the the what the smoked chicken is just really flavorful, guys. It's just this is a really good dish. So, guys, I just want to tell you once again, you guys, I missed you so much. I'm glad to be back. So it's always a pleasure, Tasty Testers. Once again, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do: comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 that you'll know when I'm coming with a new tasty video. And go ahead, guys, and give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. So thanks again, everybody. 
Love, love, love you, Tasty Taster. See you next time.